ants forming aphids. Look at all those guys. The burdock's about to flower. Those tips. Check this out guys, I got our queen cells here and I'm going to dive inside here and show you what the results are. There is my frame right there and I got one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven cells. So we're gonna make some mating nukes up. I'm gonna go ahead and pop one off of here. Oop, more's a little loose. Okay. Right there for a second. Very gentle. Just slide those girls back down in there. Let's see if we can get this on, on film. I'm going to put this cell in here. It's a mating nuke I just made up. There's the cell. And I can't really tell what's going on in there, but we're going to stick this in there sideways and see if we can get a mating queen back. So. Slide that down in there gently. All right, that's it. We're gonna put the lid on. We're gonna make up a few more and keep it going. So let's get back into the videos. Alright guys, so we're going to grab another queen cell out of this box and make us another mating nook. Number two. working them top ones. All right. Let's get through this as quickly as possible. Let's see if we can see any activity in there. I can't really tell. I can see a little bit of something through the clear side. That's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, stick it in there. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this frame and I'm gonna push it right into the wax of the frame, angled to the side just a little. Let's see. So maybe. Maybe we'll do it on this side. It's wax a little bit thicker on this side. We're gonna push it right into that wax. Just like that, it's angled out so the queen can chew out the tip and work her way down. 
and I'm going to face that cell to the inside of the brood frame that I put into this uh, native meat, or this native meat split here. So, just going to pop the lid on, and we're going to get ready and go to the next yard, my crumpler yard, where I have five more to make. I'm going to turn this one to the side, where they got a different exit strategy than the ones that they're sitting on top of. And yeah, guys, that's pretty cool. We got a few more to make and you're not gonna get it sitting on a couch. It's an apiary on top of an apiary. So check it out. We got that one there, that one there. And we've got a few that we made the other day. There's four over there sitting on tops. Um, I'll try to put a circle around them on the video. But there are four. I got some two framers over there that Dustin made. We're going to try those out again and see if we can have better luck. We used some queen cells that we cut out. So let's get on about it and see what we can come up with today. Yeah. All right, so check this out, guys. We're back at our crumple yard. We're going to add some boxes today and get some of these mating nukes made for those queen cells. And... I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera set up. We came up here yesterday and did a light feeding on all of our new colonies on back row here. And we added a few boxes. I brought some deep boxes to add to these three there. And we're gonna make up some uh, mating nukes with the rest of them, add some honey boxes. So let's jump into it. All right, guys, so we got all of our mating nuke splits done today. We got one, two, three, four, five, and we got an extra sixth one because we found some extra cells. We had to add some boxes in here for honey supering. And we also added some double deeps, or some, not double deeps, but deeps to some of our new hives. So we're growing, guys. We got some honey on. Um, Let's see how many boxes we got up here today. We've got this box. Go ahead and write that one out. And that's one, two, three, four. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight boxes of honey ready right here. So that's pretty cool. It's not going to be a total loss. We got some at home. So we're going to have a few boxes this year before sour wood. They're pulling really dark stuff up here. I'm not really sure what it is. I guess we'll find out later in the year. But let's move on to the next yard. We got oxalic treatments and other work to do today. So let's get on about it. All right, check this out, guys. We're at Juke Sizemore's yard. We're gonna be coming through today doing inspections and oxalic treatments, seeing what we can get done over here. All right, then. Right, guys check it out we just come through did some oxalic treatments and inspections and a lot of the splits that were done in here 
they have laying workers now. They didn't do any good. So, there's a lot going on in here. We try to fix what we can anyway. So, we'll keep it pushing, keep going. Ain't gonna get it sitting on the couch. All right, guys. We're out here at Irvin's house. We're gonna check on his bees real quick. See when he needs to add some honey supers on here. Seems to be concerned about it, so we're gonna check it out and see what's going on in his bees. So let's get at it. All right, guys, so we went through, checked both, did inspections, make sure they got brewed, eggs and all that good stuff, make sure they're clean right, they're all clean right. We did oxalic dribbles on both of them, and we added the next box, so they're growing, doing good. Let's get on to the next one. All right, we're down here at Butch's house. He caught this one out of a log, so we're going to go through and check his hives and do some inspections and treatments and see what's going on. So check it out guys Henry's up to 10 now right added yep. two new ones yesterday two new ones yesterday. looking good he's gonna add a box to some of them we did oxalic dribbles on them and everybody looks like they're doing good got some cool stuff going on he caught that swarm out of that log up there that one's pretty cool that would have been a cool video to get man yeah <laughs> 